and in terms of the weather, well, it is colder this morning, colder than 24 hours ago, especially along the coastline. Now we will see plenty of sunshine into the afternoon, but temperatures will be just a touch cooler. I still think we could actually break some records in places like Oakland and San Rafael, but we're not going to see the widespread mid to upper 70s like we did yesterday. Into the weekend, expect calmer winds, 70s will stick around, and then a gradual cool down is expected next week, but temperatures still trending above average. Right now, we are at the freezing mark in Novato, Santa Rosa, Napa, Fairfield at 32 degrees and 38 right now in Pleasanton. Futurecast 4 shows we will start to warm things up by lunchtime. In fact, most of us in the 60s, if not a few 70s for places like Livermore and perhaps Evergreen in the Almond and Valley. By 3 this afternoon, we'll keep those warm spring-like temperatures around. By 8 o'clock tonight, it is a Friday. You're probably out and about. Expect temperatures mainly in the upper 50s, but I do want to get specific with your afternoon highs. Let's start things off in the South Bay. San Jose today, 72, 69 degrees in Fremont. Redwood City, a high of 73 and 73 over in Campbell. Temperatures mainly in the upper 60s through the San Ramon Valley, 70 degrees in Union City, 68 degrees in Livermore. Downtown San Francisco with a high of 69 and 72 today in Oakland. Looking ahead, the battle in Seattle. If you're heading to the game up there, if you're joining JR, well, temperatures will mainly be in the 40s. Expect mostly cloudy conditions with a 40% chance for showers. Your seven-day around the bay forecast shows 70s will carry us into the weekend. But again, expect an increase in cloud cover and a drop in temperatures by the middle of next week.